If you're a current user of Final Cut Pro 10 under Mac OS 10.11 and you're considering making the move over to 10.12, you might want to watch this video because I've noticed some uh, bugs and glitches in Final Cut that might impact how you work. Welcome back gang, Todd here. As I mentioned in the intro, I've noticed a few little uh, bugs and glitches and actually a couple crashes that are occurring in Final Cut Pro 10 and I can duplicate these and I thought I'd show them to you in this video. To get started, let's go over the machine. This particular machine is a late 2015 27 inch 5K iMac. Uh, I got tired of waiting on Apple to update their machines, which certainly means they're probably going to release some new ones in the next couple of weeks. But I went ahead and picked this up about a week and a half ago. Uh, this machine here is a 3.3 gigahertz i5 with 32 gigs of RAM. I upgraded to RAM from the stock 8. Uh, it has a 2 terabyte Fusion drive, which is the uh, hybrid solid state uh, and physical hard drive that they use in these machines. And it has the R9 M395 graphics. My Final Cut Pro library uh, sits over here on an external solid state drive, a USB 3 solid state drive. So let's go ahead and launch um, Final Cut Pro. I have to be honest, this is actually the second time I've tried recording this video. The first time I recorded this video, partway through me um, demonstrating the glitches I've ran into with Final Cut, the whole machine locked up. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell was going on there, but um, it indeed did uh, lock up. So uh, let's go ahead and go over this here. Uh, let me just make this a little larger. All right, there we go. Okay, I've got some sample footage here. Uh, this is some 4K footage. Let me show you a couple of glitches. Uh, first off, up here is in the time code window. You'll notice there's some lines through this. Uh, if any of you guys have been using Final Cut for a while, you'll know this, this is the exact same problem that happened with El Capitan. Uh, it had a, depending on, you know, your, your machine and your resolution, you had some lines going through the time code. Uh, you can see if, you, if I scrub the um, playhead back and forth, the time code still works. It just has these unsightly lines through it. Um, and actually, for my machine, it depends on the resolution of your desktop or into. Uh, I have right now, I have the highest resolution on the 5K iMac um, selected. And this is the way it looks. However, if I bump it down one notch, these lines actually move around. They might be at the top of the time code or just elsewhere. So this seems really dependent on your resolution or display. So if you're running a high resolution external display, like on a MacBook or MacBook Pro or Mac, uh, Mac Pro or something like that, this might look different. Um, so yeah, this is kind of variable. This isn't a showstopper by long, uh, any stretch of the imagination. However, it's one of those things you just want to maybe be aware of. Uh, another thing I've noticed, which is a little more annoying, is over here you see the show hide. These don't always show up. Sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't. I've seen cases, actually this is the first time now I'm recording this, that these things have actually showed up correctly. Uh, let me give you a good example. If I grab a title, drag it over here, select the title, go over here. Sometimes they show up, sometimes they do not. Oh, see there, they disappeared. See, they, they, <laughs> they, they, they come and go. Oh, see, it's gone there. I, I don't, you can still double click the little uh, block to expand it in the inspector, but for whatever reason, you can double click it to, to um, shrink it. As you can see, they they come and go. And I've had times where they completely gone, where they won't show up at all. And other times where if you close Final Cut Pro or reboot the machine, they'll come back. So this is clearly a glitch. And, um, and Sierra also Final Cut Pro 10 with the current version of Final Cut Pro 10. I don't know why that is. But yeah, that's there. Another glitch I've noticed now that I've got color selected, like for example, if you've got a, a title here or anywhere where you need to use the color, if you bring up the little color uh, box, if you click the little eyedropper here, the color selector, Final Cut will crash. Watch. Boom. Gone. <laughs> it's as dead as a doorknob. Now, when you relaunch it, you of course get the little. Uh, before you relaunch, you get the little problem report saying unexpectedly quit, which, you know, I've submitted this for this issue, too. Um, this is the only place where I've seen this actually happen, where it actually flat out just, like, dies. It's with the color, um, when choosing colors. And I'm not alone with uh, the problems I've seen with Final Cut Pro. There's been a thread over on fcp.co that uh, has some other folks that deal with some other problems they've seen. And uh, they've noticed some of these problems too where the hide and show uh, boxes are, 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 not, are disappearing over here in the inspector. 
or where they come and go. Some numbers are there, some numbers are not. Uh, the little color palette wheel, um, the color picker, color dropper, that's the first I've seen of that. But um, I don't run any plugins right now with Final Cut Pro 10. I've got them disabled. I only use a couple plugins anyway for some transitions and some FX Factory stuff. And I've got those actually disabled because I was curious if maybe that was causing it, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, so, but there's a thread. Let me show you here. But yeah, over on scp.co, there is a Mac OS Sierra Do You Upgrade Now thread. Uh, a post over there with some comments from some folks. And there's quite a bit of folks having problems with all sorts of third party plugins, uh, external hardware that they've interfaced, like some uh, Blackmagic uh, interface boxes um, that aren't working correctly. Uh, there's some folks talking about keyframes aren't showing up correctly. Um, there's just all sorts of little weirdities that seems to be happening with uh, Final Cut Pro 10 and Sierra. So my advice is if you're a El Capitan user and you've got Final Cut Pro 10 installed working great for you, until Apple releases a patch for for the problems with Final Cut Pro 10 or Sierra, I would not upgrade to Sierra. Actually, I'm thinking about rolling this machine back to El Capitan, which pains me, but unfortunately, I need fun. I'm Final Cut Pro 10 working perfectly is more important to me than some of the little add-ons they've added onto Sierra. Um, for now, anyways. Well, guys, that about wraps it up for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your experiences are running Final Cut Pro 10 and Sierra. Maybe you've had some different experiences. Maybe it's working great for you because there's been a few folks that said they've not noticed any problems. Maybe, like me, you've noticed quite a few problems that are borderline showstoppers or at least my major annoyances. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about uh, Final Cut Pro 10 and Sierra. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.